Hey, what's up guys? Today I'd like to show you how to do the heart style kettlebell swing. By now you should be familiar with the kettlebell deadlift and the heart style plank. What is a swing? It's a hip hinge. It's the same movement pattern as the deadlift. It's a quick lift, a ballistic we like to call it. It's also, think of it as a throw, a projection forward coming through your arms like a, like a straight punch. So what are the benefits of this exercise? Uh, you're working your speed endurance, you're working your hip power, your explosiveness, your cardio. Um, all the muscles in your body are working. Core, legs, uh, back, just to name a few. So it's an awesome exercise. It's one of the best that I know and we practice it a lot here. So how do we start it off? First thing you gotta learn is the pendulum swing, okay? So you get on top of the kettlebell, and you deadlift it, but only about six inches high. And with my lats, with my arms, I'm just gonna pass it behind me, pass it behind me, pass it behind me. I actively throw it. I wanna make my inner forearms connect with my inner thighs like this. I pendulum it like a swing. I pass it, and I just passively let my arms loose, hang forward on the way up. And I actively throw them behind me, just like so. I'm gonna do it one more time. Maintain the position as the kettlebell wants to move you all over the place. So brace your abs, plant your feet, grip your toes. One more time. and let it come to a stop, set it down, and relax. Shake it off. Now, what do you do? After several hike passes, pendulums, on, let's say, the third one, you do the hike pass, and what you do is you stand up to attention. Think of planking. So, let's review the points of the plank. The abs and the glutes must be contracted simultaneously as one muscle. Shoulders must be down. Kneecaps must be pulled up. Kettlebell will surge forward about chest level. Don't let it go higher than your chest. Gravity is going to want to take it down. So what you do is you wait for it. You wait for it. You play chicken with the kettlebell. And right before it hits you in the groin, you hike past it back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demo, I'm going to do three hike passes, three pendulums, using my lats. And on the third one, I'm going to stand up to attention. Then I'm going to play chicken. I'm going to wait until the very last second before the kettlebell almost hits me, and I'm going to hike it past it back and I'm gonna just set it back down. Okay, watch. One, two, three. Just like that. So if you noticed on the height pass, I pushed through my legs, stood up, and basically planked. Obviously, I'm used to this. I've been doing it for years. But when you first start doing it, just Pay attention to the fine points, to your technique. You want to be practicing it until you get better and better. When you start to be good at it, you can chain your reps, your, your uh, repetitions for many reps. I would say between five and 10 reps. Don't go higher than 10. So to reiterate the points, high class the bell, plank, let the kettlebell float up, play chicken with the bell, and right before it hits you in the groin, you push it back behind you. Okay? So I hope this video has been helpful, and practice your swings, get strong, and be resilient.